Content marketing is such an important part of your overall marketing strategy. And before we dive into today's topic, I really wanted to share a couple of insights that I took away from HubSpot's 2021 State of Content Marketing Report. You know, I'm a big fan of HubSpot. I think they're a great company. I think they deliver so much valuable content to their audience. And it's a place that I go to all the time uh, to research and to update my own thinking on where things are in marketing. And they had a couple really interesting insights, I thought, that I just wanted to expand upon a little bit during this show. First of all, one of the interesting statistics that I took away was that 47% of prospective buyers interact with three to five pieces of content before they ever talk to a sales rep. So this is interesting in a couple of ways. First of all, it talks about the importance of content in the buyer's journey because many prospective buyers are doing a lot of their research on their own. Your website, your social media channels, your video channels, they need to answer a prospective buyer's questions because what buyers are doing is they're trying to sort of get to the point where they want to interact with somebody because their base level questions have already been answered. So creating valuable content is so important. And I think the second part of that is that when you get a lead who has done that kind of research, you're getting a truly warm lead because this is somebody who understands your product or service. It is sort of past those base level litmus tests, if you will, and now they want to do to know more. They want to engage with somebody who can answer those second and third level questions. So I think it's a really interesting statistic. Another thing that I took away from the report that I thought was pretty obvious, but also it's a trend that we need to be paying attention to as marketers, is that video is becoming such an important channel. More and more people are consuming content through video versus what was traditionally some of the more important uh, content marketing pieces, right? We used to create a lot of infographics and white papers, and while those still have a place in your overall marketing mix, video is where the action is at. Video is how people are consuming content across various social media channels. It's how they're consuming content on people's websites. And so if you don't have a dedicated video strategy for content, I think you're really missing out. One of the reasons that we do this podcast and we do a live stream on video is because about half of our audience consumes it through video versus the audio channel. You want to be able to meet buyers where they are. And I think the third thing that I thought was very interesting out of this report were what is the marketing mix? What are the channels that people are still using um, as their predominant channels for content marketing? And surprisingly, social media was number one. Website and email were pretty much tied for number two and three. But this is interesting to me because obviously social media channels are so prevalent. We all are spending so much time on social media and they're a great opportunity to develop that reach uh, to get your message out in front of a lot of prospective buyers. And so it's so important that you have a good social media channel. You know where your potential buyers are and you create valuable content to reach them there. Obviously, your website is your digital home on the web. It's so important to have a strong website where you can create valuable content that your audience can find. You know, even if you're using social media, you obviously want to be using those channels to direct people back to your website. And so it's so important to have a modern website, a good looking website where this content can be located. And the third of those channels was email. Email is not dead. Email is still a critical a channel to your marketing mix, especially when you have strong opt-in lists where people have expressed an interest in understanding what you do, in receiving updates from your company. It's such an important channel. And make sure that you're creating compelling email. You're not spamming your audience, but you're using this channel as a source to get those additional pieces of content out in front of your buyer.